Welcome back everybody, it's Amber. Today we're going to make a healthy snack recipe and this one will fit in well to the Trim Healthy Mama. Today I sent this for lunch with my son because we were out of bread and I had nothing to make a sandwich with and he looked at it and he was like, what is that? And I said, I know it looks weird, but it tastes good, trust me. And so I told him, you know, when you get to school, just try it, you'll like it. And he was very hesitant, but when I picked him up, he told me that he ate both of them and he loved it. So. Give it a try. I think you'll decide that the flavors are very nice together and um, and that you actually think it's quite Depending tasty. on how you make this, it will come in as either an E or an S depending on, um, well, it could actually be all three. It could also be a fuel pool as well depending on how much of the ingredients you put on. So let's go ahead and get All right, the base of this snack starts with wasa crackers. It, I had never heard of these until I started Trim Healthy Mama. They look this a little bit like cardboard and honestly if you eat them like this they're gonna taste like cardboard these are the sourdough crackers and if I remember the nutrition information on the box correctly I think they were nine grams of carbs each and um, they fit into the trim healthy mama plan so I bought a box and decided I give them a shot but when I tasted them I decided that we were gonna have to do something with them because you can't eat it like on top of the wasa crackers or aside from that you're going to need one of two things you're gonna either need um, some Laughing Cow Cheese, which this is kind of the generic version that I bought at Aldi's. Um, and it's the light version. It's, it says 50% less fat. It's basically spreadable Swiss cheese. You can use that or you can use um, cream cheese. And this is the one third less fat. You could use full fat if you wanted to. Depending on what you top it with will be, um, you know, whether it is an E or an S or a fuel pool. You know basically you have to figure that out and if you hear noise in the background my one-year-old is sitting in his high chair over there having a snack so um, not much I can do about that so you're gonna need one of those two things to put on top of it the secret ingredient of this recipe however is something that you've probably never heard of and I'd, I never even knew about this company until about six weeks or so ago and um, it is the scampi blend by wild tree and I'd never even heard of Wild Tree until my friend introduced me to it. And it's kind of like, you may have heard of Tastefully Simple. Wild Tree is kind of like that, except they are, most of their products are certified organic. Um, this is a scampi blend. It is intended for shrimp, but my husband doesn't eat shrimp, so I don't cook a whole lot that he doesn't eat. So I figured out, um, I figured I needed to find a way to use this. And turns out it's really good on eggs and it's really good in this recipe. So you're gonna need that. And just quickly, all this contains is dried garlic, wine powder, dried onion, natural butter flavor, parsley, and sea salt. And that's all that's in this, but it is delicious. Topping that for a little extra flavor and protein, I'm going to be using um, sliced deli turkey meat. Um, normally I try to buy the ones that don't have any preservatives in it, but um, the area that I live, it's kind of hard to find that. So I just picked up this pack from Walmart and it's mesquite smoked and it tastes really good. And then I like pickles, so I usually lay a pickle um, on top, either sliced up or just whole. And um, the Velasic Farmer's Garden Kosher Dill Spears. Um, I like these because this does not have artificial coloring in it, so we're just going to use that. Okay, to get started, I'm going to spread, I'm starting with cream cheese on this cracker. This is about a tablespoon of the one-third less fat cream cheese. And you just want to spread that all around, which I am doing a fabulous job at being neat here. So spread that all around till it looks about like that. Then the next thing you're going to want to add is your scampi blend by Wild Tree. We're just going to take pinches of this and sprinkle it all around. And like I said, this has garlic and onion and wine powder, however you end up with wine powder. But it is really a delicious flavor, especially when you combine it either with the Laughing Cow cheese or the, um, the cream cheese, it's really good. I usually use two pieces of the um, deli turkey meat and just lay that over just like this. And then you can top it with a pickle if you want. And that's pretty much it. So when you're all finished, you've got something that looks like this. Which, like I said, I know this looks a little odd, but trust me, this is delicious. You could eat two or three of these, 
and have a full meal from it because it's that filling with everything on here. Um, if you don't like pickles, take it off and you still have this. You could also add other vegetables to it. You could have um, <clears throat> sliced bell pepper strips would be good on here. Tomato if they're in season. I don't like out of season tomatoes so that's why I didn't put that on here. You could even layer some um, some lettuce or some fresh spinach, some romaine, whatever you like. Um, carrot strips would be nice, although that would add a little more carbs to it. I know it doesn't look like much, but trust me, this tastes really good. If you're wondering where you can get the Scampi blend, and you can buy smaller jars than this. This is this is the biggest jar I think that they sell. Um, I will put a link below. I'm actually a Wild Tree representative. Um, I didn't sign up to do it as a business, but um, I really fell in love with everything and so I just wanted to share this with you. You can go to my link below or not, whatever you want to check it out, but this is really what I think makes the entire thing because the flavor that it adds to um, to the snack. So anyway, try it out. If you do, let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions about, um, about this recipe or about um, the Wild Tree product, just comment below or send me a message. And if you haven't already, check out my blog. I will put the link to that below. It's realrealhousewife.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Healthy Bye. snack recipe. Go Amber! You're grounded for another week. I know it doesn't look like much. I know it doesn't look like much. Darian!